All right, uh, today's adventure, we are in Mud Vein. Mud Vein. <laughs> I think that's a band. Mud Vein, Kansas. <laughs> All right, for today's adventure, we are in Mulvane, Kansas. Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say we're on the camera. Okay, take, take three. three. All right, for today's adventure, we are in Mulvane, Kansas. We're currently standing on the campus of Cowley College, the Mulvane campus. All right, it's a beautiful December day. We're walking east to west into the downtown. Enjoy! All right, there is a branch campus of Cowley College here, Mulvane. I don't know if that's a four-year or a two-year, but I would assume it's a two-year. I don't know, we'll have to research it. And next to that looks like Police department. And then across the street, down the road, can you read the sign, Carol? What is that? That's a really cool church. Oh, is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Nice building. I'll go check United it out. Methodist. Alright, this is Old Main Street Park, which is just a little east of downtown. And it looks like they have kind of a cool amphitheater. Yeah. Alright, not an amphitheater, just a stage. Uh, looks like I should bring my glasses next time. <laughs> anyway, uh, Caroline, as always, why don't you tell us a little bit about this fair city. Mulvane was founded in the 1870s. What's kind of interesting about it, it's at the junction of five different railroads, but it actually is in two different counties. I have never heard of a city being in two different counties, but it's in Sedgwick and Sumner County. Kansas City. Half of it's not even in the same state. But it's a different city. So two different counties. But two it's different the same. cities. Go ahead. <laughs> So the population here is about 6,200 people and we were talking about Cowley College at the beginning and it is a two-year, it is a community college with several campuses. The little building straight ahead is Lori's Kitchen, as you can read, and that happened to be where we chose to have lunch. We had a couple burgers. Delicious. I had a jalapeno and cheddar stuffed burger and it was delicious. Yeah, I think mine was a hat chili one. It's great. It's a really cute downtown. <clears throat> Looks like well, this was maybe about the equivalent of two city blocks. That was an old bank right there that's been around since the 1800s. Yeah, and kind of unique in that they have parking right in the middle and of course from our perspective, that makes it very difficult, mm -hmm. <laughs> even twice as difficult to, to really film the, the downtown old buildings. What's also funny, there's parking in the middle of the street there, and this street is technically the highway. The highway weaves its way through town, so you can park in the middle of the highway, basically. Yeah, that's true, in, in kind of an S shape as well. More another, street yeah, art. Yeah, another cool mural. There'll be one more that's coming up here pretty soon that we found on the back of a building. The town was all decked out for the holidays, looked really cute. Yeah, I wonder if, uh, if the people from these towns and cities watch these videos if they're like, man, I wish you would have filmed it at a different time of the year. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, I personally think it's cool uh, when they're decked out for Christmas, although you lose a little of the effect in the middle of the day, but uh, 
I don't know. That's just my my two senses. It doesn't really matter. Um, you get the gist of the city regardless of the time of year. And it was a beautiful sunny day, although now the trees don't really have many of their leaves left. No, and like the fountain we're about to see kind of in the background. Uh, obviously, they have that turned off right now. Um, so those are kind of things that I guess that would be much nicer presented in pretty much any other season. But then you wouldn't get these awesome little Christmas decorations on the tree in the middle of the street. <laughs> right. This museum's really cute. It was the old train depot. And there's the grain elevator right near downtown. Yeah, every one of these little towns we visit has the grain elevator right next mm -hmm. to the downtown. That and the water tower. There's usually a water tower. This one had two, mm -hmm. but neither were actually right in the downtown area. Some sculptures there. Yes, winter appropriate. Yes. I think that was an Italian restaurant. Yeah. If I, remember. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that that might just be a museum or part of the museum. That's I, what's behind us there. I think so. Obviously, the old depot, which is now a museum. It was closed at the time we were there, although I think. As we were leaving town, I saw that it was open. So the next time we go, we'll have to check that out. Another gorgeous December day. Um, what was it, the 8th, I think? Mm -hmm. Film December 8th. We're there in the morning, but I think by the afternoon, we were in the upper 50s, if not lower 60s. So mm -hmm. just really incredible fall we've had so far. That's the bank I was mentioning. Yeah, if you look at our Colwich video, wasn't the bank 1886? I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't the bank 1886? Very popular 1886 year. This was a great year in to be Kansas. in the banking business in Kansas. Yeah, definitely. So seeing a theme here. Ah, there's the second uh, mirror. That one's a lot older. I don't know if the picture reflects it, but it's kind of getting a little deteriorated. Then we took a little walk through the neighborhoods and uh, we'll go ahead and wrap it up here with our, our usual musings and final thoughts. All right, we are at uh, Ralph Bell Park, right near the little downtown. As always, we kind of wrap these up with highlights. Caroline, you can go first. My highlight was there was a surprising number of really cute little local restaurants in their downtown. They had like six restaurants in their downtown. So kind of fun and we ate at one and it was delicious. Yeah, I guess on that same note, we gotta step over something here. <laughs> on that same note, uh, this is a very small town, about what, five, 6,000 people? I'm sure at the beginning of the video, Caroline gave us the numbers, but Anyway, there's actually five or six different little restaurants, yeah, local six ones. Downtown. Six downtown. Um, it's a very small downtown, just a block. Really cute though. Mm -hmm. And we had uh, lunch at a really nice, you know, mom and pop kind of place, and that was just awesome. And then after uh, exploring the downtown, we walked through the different neighborhoods. And uh, overall, give it a thumbs up. It was fun. Mm -hmm. All right. With that said. Uh, Get off the couch and we'll see you next time. Cheers.